You know, in the last few years, career and technical education programs have become very popular. Students are learning skills that can last them a lifetime, and now some schools are having to make changes to accommodate the students. It is a great example of what's right with our schools. great. I love it. And it's the only class I look forward to during the day. That's the sentiment of many of the welding students at Graham High School. The course is new to the school and brings in students from all over the county. Many are dual enrolled at Alamance Community College. It's really fun. It's, it gives me an opportunity to like learn skills that I can do outside of school, be able to get a job. You know, just it just gives a lot of opportunities and you can get college credits from it, so I can just go to college and transfer the credits. It's so popular, instructor Miranda Catarba says it's already busting at the seams. We are just super full. We are maxed out, and here I've already maxed out this already. Yeah, I'm just showing you what this looks like right now. Pretty much just doing a heat line. It shows that the industry is strong. It shows that the industry is thriving, and it shows that there are plenty of job opportunities out there. And it also shows that there's a good interest in it as well. I'll move ahead about an eighth of an inch, dip, move, dip, move, dip. The students who were lucky enough to get into the program work hard and are committed to learning. Many of them say it sparked an interest in their future. I've thought about going into welding before. My dad's a truck driver. And uh, I, I thought about being a truck driver, too, when I get older. So it would be nice to like learn how to weld on my own stuff and weld on other people's trucks for extra money. I would like to be a full-time welder. Uh, more specifically, I would like to go and weld on the pipeline. Um, here, that's where the money's at. And uh, I think it would be a great adventure. And um, hopefully this is the right foot you know, to put down and send me in that direction. But to get there, they know there's a lot more to learn. The students have a lot of drive. They want to do it. They have so much drive. They have so much initiative. Um, they have they have such an interest in it, or else they wouldn't have signed up for the class and been able to come out come out here and take it. So the interest is definitely there, and the caliber of their skills. I mean, it's just it's awesome. I show them a couple things. They practice a couple times, and then it's like down pat. They no problem. It's brighter, but there's not a lot of that byproduct that's coming off of it. The students give Katarba, whose nickname is Miss Smokey, the credit. I think it's amazing, honestly. I really do, because uh, if it wasn't for my teacher, uh, Miss Smokey, she's a really great teacher, and uh, she teaches us everything that we need to know. Um, we learn a lot more than just one type of welding, and uh, that can also go a long way, because during the trade, you want to learn more than just one thing. It's a good thing to go ahead and learn it all. It'll help you a lot in the long run. They know with good welding skills, their futures are bright. The possibilities are endless. There are no limitations. Right now, Miranda Katarba has only one female student enrolled in her welding classes, but she hopes to encourage more young women to give it a try because it's a skill they can use for their lifetime.